dobu. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing the Nietzsche path and so right now I'm about one mile in to my run and we are running from Nice, so over there to Bees. So it should be a fun day. It should be about 14 or 15 miles in total today. But yeah, I'll get more into the path when we get to that section. But look at this view. Love it. So after that, we headed over to Villefranche-sur-Mer, which was about three and a half miles into the run. Then we're in a couple more miles till about six miles into the run to the Nietzsche path. And look at this, it's amazing. These cliffs just shooting straight into the ocean. It is so incredible. Love this part of the run. So after that section, you continue running until you run through a little tunnel. And the coolest part of the tunnel is the view that you're gonna get on the other side. So three, two, one. Bam! Amazing views of the coastline. Just incredible. Alright, so right after the tunnel is the first time you come out here and you get a view of Ez. There she is. So the best way to get to the Nietzsche path from Nice is to just take a train. So this will be the most direct and quickest way to get there. Or another option is to take the 15 bus to the 83 bus, or you can take the 607 zoo bus directly there. Uh, so we have made it. Here is the start of the Nietzsche path. So it's going to take us up and around, and you can't see ease anymore, but it's right up here at the top of the mountain. Also, let's see how far I've gone so far. All right, so we've gone seven miles so far. So we are going to start our way up to Ez. So there's the Nietzsche path. If you cross the street onto this side and then you take this path up and go up and around here, this will take you to the beach. So yeah, if you want to get some beach time in before you head up, that can be done. All right, so here we go. All the way up, baby. And if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. And we are going up. Let's do this. All right, so here we are at the beginning of the hike. As you can see, no smoking, no flip-flops, and wear some good shoes. Also, make sure to bring plenty of water. This was definitely not enough water for me, and I regretted it. So here we go. We've officially started the hike up the Nietzsche Path. So this hike is just over one mile long and has 1,135 feet of elevation gain and has an average of a 21% grade, so it is very steep. So as you can see, the hike starts on a paved road, so the beginning of the hike is pretty easy and straightforward. So you'll just follow this paved road until it eventually leads to a rock and dirt trail. So another thing you're going to want to keep in mind is at the beginning of the path is actually where you're going to get the best views, so make sure you get plenty of pictures. Alright, we're about 0.2 miles up the path right now, so just slowly making our way up. Let's do it. So right after about the quarter mile mark is where it starts turning into dirt and stone steps. And the steps, as you can see, are not even. They're very rugged, so make sure that you bring the correct shoes like I said before. Another thing to keep in mind is that this is the most popular hike in this area of France, so there will be a lot of people on the trails. I did this hike at noon on a Thursday and there was still quite a few people. So then continuing up the trail, you could see that the trail itself is pretty exposed. There's not a lot of shade to be had, so keep that in mind and that's why you need to bring plenty of water. 
Also for Europeans, this trail is not very technical, but for people who live outside of Europe, I would say that this trail is pretty technical and that it's really rocky and that you're definitely gonna have to watch your step as you go up. So here we have Nietzsche himself spitting wisdom. Except for you can't read it because the sign is broken. All right, guys, since the sign was broken, I'll just read you one of his most famous quotes so we could just get a little education in this video. So his most famous quote is, he who fights with monsters should be careful lest he thereby become a monster. And if thou gaze long into the abyss, the abyss will also gaze into thee. So take from that what you will. Anyways, Friedrich Nietzsche was a German philosopher who was born in 1844 and died in the year 1900. He was a philosopher, cultural critic, composer, poet, and a scholar of classical philology. Alright, we are 0.7 miles in, still moving well. The hike has quite a few people on it today. It's like noon right now, so it's pretty hot. And, ooh, there's our first view of Ez right up there. Almost there. So another thing that you could probably see in this video is that there's not a lot of people going up the trail. So what most people do is they start at the top, they take a bus to Ez, and then from there they hike down the Nietzsche path. So to get up to Ez village, which is where this hike will end, you take the 82 bus from Nice, and that bus will drop you off directly in the city center of Ez village. That way you'll have a 1,300 foot descent instead of a 1,300 foot ascent, which is a lot easier. Maybe not if you have bad knees, but it is definitely going to be easier for you to do. So then as you continue hiking, you'll find another little information spot that tells you a little more about Nietzsche. So you can pause the video so you can read some more of the things that he has to say. So as we get closer and closer to the end of the hike, you can see that Ease starts really coming into view. And when you hit this sign, you're going to be almost at the very end of the hike. So I just went down here really quick just to see the viewpoint. But you don't have to do this part. You could skip this and just go straight up the trail to Ez. But if you know me and you know this channel, you know that I can't resist a good viewpoint. So we walked down here. It was just a really short walk. And you get a beautiful view of the mountains and the ocean. And I would say that it's definitely worth the 10 second detour. And you also get an amazing view of Ez on top of it. From the viewpoint up to Ez, it is a one minute walk and then you have finished the hike. You are in the village of Ez and you have completed the hike. So after you finish the hike, you could either go left up here into the village. So these stairs will lead you into the main village of Ez. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I did not prepare water-wise for this hike. So I turned to the right, down, away from Ez to fill up my water. And the place to fill up water is just right across from the bus stop. From there, I went to the casino shop and I bought myself a sandwich and a drink to enjoy the view. And as you can see, this hike is definitely worth the view. And the village of Ez is literally one of the most beautiful villages in the south of France. All right, so we have made it up the Nietzsche path. We are in Ez now. It's a beautiful little hilltop city, but we are not done yet. <laughs> so if you want to be done here, you could definitely do that. There's a bus that'll take you back. I think it's the 81 or the 82 bus will take you back from ease all the way back to Nice. So next up we are actually going to the fort. So the fort that we're going to is going to be right up 
there. So that is the Fort, Fort de la Rivière. I'm saying that so bad. But um, yeah, I'll put the name of it on the screen. And that is where we're heading up to next. Yeah, we are going to be on our way. And the next place that we're going actually has a beautiful view of Ez as you go up there. So on the way up here, you don't really get to see Ez at all, but you will from the other side. Let's do it. So to get to the Fort de la Riviere hike, you're gonna wanna go to the end of the Nietzsche path where you ended the hike and then head away from Ez towards the main bus stop of the city. So as you can see, that's where the Casino Mart is. There's some restaurants down here. So you're gonna want to cross the street and follow the sidewalk that's on the other side. And you'll follow this sidewalk until you see the sign for the fort. So right here, you're going to want to take a left turn to head towards the Fort de la Riviere. So after turning left, you'll follow this road until you see another sign for the Fort de la Riviere, and then continue up this path. So this hike is about the same distance and elevation as the Nietzsche path. So as you can see here, it's 1.2 miles with 1,145 feet of ascending. So if you're already tired from the Nietzsche hike, then I would not recommend doing this hike because it is basically just the Nietzsche path all over again. The difference though between this hike and the Nietzsche path is that I think that this hike has even better views because it has views of Ez and the ocean, so I would definitely recommend it. So about a half mile into this hike, you are going to hit a road. So when you get to this point, you're just going to cross it and continue up the path and keep following the signs for the Fort de la Riviere. After following this path for a couple hundred feet, you're going to come on another road and you're going to turn right where you'll see another sign and then continue up the trail. Here we are, getting way up here. These just keep getting better and better. Another good thing about this hike after the Nietzsche path is that this one has a lot less people on it. I haven't seen a single person the whole time I've been walking. So if you want just a nice hike where you can relax and just take in the views, I would recommend this one because it is incredible. Look at this, just unobstructed views of Ez and just miles of ocean. The clouds weren't there, but look at that, incredible, love it. And there is the fort. Almost there. Keep going up the path. So if you keep going up the trail, keep following the signs, then eventually you will get to da -da 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 the fort. So as you can see, here's the Fort de la Riviere, and it was definitely worth the hike. It's a pretty cool fort. You can't go inside it but the views from the top are unbeatable. It is amazing and I would definitely recommend adding this to your Ez trip. All right guys and then from here we are just going to run back to Nice. Nice is just right over there through the clouds so not not this one right here but the one behind it, so you can't see it because of the clouds, but it's just right, not this hill, the one over there. And we are going to run along the ridge line to get there, just along these mountains. That'll take us up and around, down, 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 all the way back to Nice. All right, so let's do it. 
so getting back to Nice from the fort is a little complicated. You're going to be hopping from trail to trail to road to different parks and it's, it's confusing. So as you can see, there's some amazing views on the way back. There's some amazing places to see, but just keep in mind that it is a very, very long way back to Nice from Ez and the fort. All right, guys, run is done. Oh, I think it ended up being 16 or 17 miles, something like that. My watch died, my phone is about to die, my GoPro died, <laughs> my AirPods died, I'm out of water. So yeah, I didn't really prepare for this one that well, but we are home, safe and sound. All right, guys, that's it for now. Remember, if you liked the video, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and comment below which was your favorite hike. Did you like the Nietzsche hike or did you like the Fort de la Riviere hike? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.